Hello again my friends. Today I'm going to present you a really interesting device and very useful in any audio studio environment and not only. It's an advanced multi-field multifunction EMF meter and RF spectrum power analyzer. Uh, you see simply what is this guy doing is checking for any electromagnetic fields, electric fields, radio frequencies and also radio spectrum power analyzer. This meter is able to identify the common source from EMF measured as power lines, Wi-Fi and many other things. Everything what is related to radio transmission and everything related to power lines, uh, any kind of parasitic uh, oscillation, let's say a small power supply for a computer. It's having electromagnetic field and also a kind of radio dissipation. Okay, with this device you can check very nice and easy everything related to power lines and cables and so on. And by the way, we can see here, I can check my monitor about EMF leaking. Look there. Anyway, it's a very complex device. What I found about if I'm going to this vertical mode, which by the way is very useful, I can check the AF and the EMF leakage, but as soon as I'm going to, let's say, RF mode, which should scan, you know, the whole band from 10 megahertz to 10 gigahertz or something anyway, nothing happens. The device is freezing. And not only that, also in table mode having the same behavior. You see, it's just freezing. I have to restore this uh, AMF to AF menu sometimes if we are checking this i'm going to spectrum and then change the band to a lower one and now back to vertical mode and here let's say same story it's not it's not responding so it's not getting into menu and now let's say when I'm starting up is just getting stuck on logo and nothing happens but if I'm pressing these two arrows here and getting back to this then I have a, a working device so it's a bug something happens with their software and the nice people from uh, GQ electronics they sent me a firmware upgrade here all I need it's a mini USB cable and a USB port but before that it's looking like I have to install the serial driver for this guy install please and now let's open the software Okay, so the device is found on COM6. Let's try to push the firmware. So I got a reaction there. I believe it's doing the job. Good to write. And it's writing. Don't touch anything. 40% and go. And Look at this guy. Factory reset, please wait. I'm waiting. There we go. Looking good. Now, let's get into the menu. Any change? Yeah. It's exactly what I was talking about. We can uh, see very clear which... Uh, device on what frequency it's the strongest in the area we have a peak here on 240 megahertz let me see if i'm using my mobile phone you see that so now the device it's uh, 
it's um, analyzing this around and we have a very clear communication in between my mobile with the router on 2400 uh, something megahertz you see perfect so it's working very nice let me see on table mode if we have the and there we have it and it's scanning all the time and showing and it's showing all the time and you know, all the fragrances so the problem it's solved let's change the band well it seems like uh, hmm doesn't feel like working okay it's working in this band but not here you see I don't see any peaks so let me just close it and turn it on again Oh, there we go. On 2000 and something. Okay. This band it's working. What about this? Yeah, it's working. Okay. But I need this one. Nothing here. <laughs> Strange. So it's looking like we fixed something. But, okay, let's see this band. This one it's working. Hmm, amazing. And this one it's working too. This is perfect. But this one seems like no. Yes, people, so it's looking like, uh, you know, you fix something and something else is not working. And that's kind of funny. We can have a simple test using my Nano VNA. I don't have a proper antenna, but we can use this one just to have some radio. Oh, you saw that? So we have a very clear look there on 2000.45 gigahertz. Maybe I should have a better antenna. Yeah, so it's reading 2.4 gigahertz. Very nice. Okay, let's change the band. <laughs> Nothing happens here. How comes? Let's uh, generate something in the middle. Let's say 800 megahertz. Nothing. So this band it's stocked. <laughs> Very clear. Let's try this one. Let's generate 100 megahertz. Of course. So uh, you can see that I just uh, change here. I just put a frequency of uh, let's say 2.242. Let's say. Yeah, of course. It's reading. Of course, the power is very small, but I have a very strong signal on 240. That's kind of uh, strange. Maybe, maybe it's from my microphone. I'm turning this off. Yeah, I got some communication there, except the 2.42, but still not working here. Once again, so the problem is uh, when I change the software, with the belief that uh, we'll fix my vertical mode, which is fixed somehow. You see now the RF menu, it's implemented. To look here, so now we can see that very clear. 240 megahertz, a kind of auto oscillation. And that is blocking the, the band from uh, 240 megahertz to 1040 megahertz which is very very important at least for me okay now let's take a look about uh, the new firmware before it was 362 or something version and now we have 3.69b 
Uh, in the meantime, the good people from uh, GQ send me another firmware and we'll do that tomorrow. That's it for now. If you have any ideas, please write them down. It will be a lot of uh, happiness for me to have a working device, a full working device. So once again, the first 3.62 firmware was missing the RF menu under vertical and uh, table, vertical mode and table mode. Now I have that, but uh, let's call it uh, the middle band. It's not working anymore. You see, it's stuck on 240 megahertz. Funny. Okay, see you with the next uh, episode. And uh, don't forget, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.